Okay, so in this problem, we're told how far from a concave mirror of radius 24 centimeters must an object be placed if its image is to be at infinity. So as always, you want to draw what's going on here. So we're told that we're going to have a concave mirror. Concave means that it's going to be uh, shaped like this. Uh, if it was convex, it would be like this relative to our image or our object. So if our object's here, it's concave, so we know it's going to be shaped like this. Uh, and there's a few things that you need to know. So uh, the way we're going to solve this problem is by using uh, the mirror equation, which tells us 1 over f, or the focal length, is equal to 1 over the image distance, or sorry, the object distance, plus 1 over the image distance. So uh, what we're trying to solve for is uh, how far the object needs to be placed. And so what they're talking about here is the object distance DO. So DO is the distance between our object to the mirror. So we assume uh, that the object's going to place somewhere over here. We don't know where, uh, but we're going to be solving for that. So some distance DO uh, is what we're going to be solving for. And so if we want to find DO, we're going to need the focal length and we're going to need the image distance. So the easiest one for this is the image distance. They tell us in the problem that the image is to be at infinity. So the distance or the image distance is just going to be equal to infinity. So we're just assuming it's infinitely far away. Uh, so this value is just infinity. And then to find f, so we know that the focal length, if you draw this here, so what you want to imagine is this mirror is like a circle, kind of curved like this. So C just represents the center of the circle. Uh, we call it for a mirror or a concave or convex mirror. Uh, it's called the center of curvature. That's the point. And we know this distance is uh, radius R. So whenever they talk about the radius of the mirror, they're basically talking about the distance from the center of curvature uh, to the mirror itself or to the edge. So this is called the radius of curvature R. Uh, and they do give us that value. Uh, and then f is called your focal length. And f is uh, defined as the point halfway between uh, the center of curvature and the mirror. So it's basically this length right here. So f is that length. And if you look at this image, it should be apparent that r is equal to 2 times f. Or f is just equal to half the radius. Since we know it's in the middle between C and the mirror, uh, and R is the distance from C to the mirror, uh, F is just half that length. So that's what the focal length is defined as. So F is just half of R. And if we want F, they, they just give us the radius. So uh, F is just one half times R, which they give us. They tell us it's 24 centimeters. So half of 24, well, that's 12. So 12 centimeters, that's your focal length, just half the value of the radius. So I know F and I know I, which easily allows me, or I just use this equation uh, to solve for uh, DO, or the distance that our object needs to be placed, right? How far it needs to be placed. Uh, and yeah, so just a matter of plugging it in. So one over 12, equals 1 over uh, DO, which is what we're solving for, plus 1 over infinity. So you can think about this as a limit. Uh, 1 over infinity goes to 0. So we can just treat this value as 0. So this just tells us 1 over 12 equals 1 over D0. And so this should just be apparent that, uh, D, that D0, or D sub 0, or your image distance, is just equal to 12. So. Your image distance, D0, is 12. The units were centimeters. So how far it should be placed? Well, it's going to be equal to 12 centimeters. So it's really just equal to the focal length. So uh, they're telling us our object needs to be placed right uh, there. So just equal to the focal length. Uh, but yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer. Uh, the main takeaway is just this mirror equation right here. Uh, and then understanding this drawing here, because it makes it a lot easier uh, to find the focal length, which is what we needed to actually solve. Uh, but yeah, so 12 centimeters, that's going to go ahead and be your answer.
and hopefully you found this video useful.